avocado. <laughs> I can't stop saying that. <laughs> Good morning. It is Tuesday. Um, Mondays have just been really rough the past two weeks. Um, so, you know. You gotta start it on Tuesdays nowadays. I'm resolved to have a good week this week, and Tuesday is the pinnacle, the day that's supposed to be the best day. Um, I just like to do that sometimes, is just resolve myself to have a good day, and even if it doesn't turn out to be a good day, as long as like I've done that, taken that step, sometimes it can, it can be, it's a good step. You know, today I have class for an hour, very short, don't really know what's going on like my brain cannot fathom what they're even saying in that class so i'm just gonna go sit in there for an hour and then i'm gonna go buy a copy of the second book of crescent city i read that in january i think was it i was a staunch sarah jamas hater like hated her guts and then i thought for fun that i would read a court of thorns roses and i actually like the series and i actually ended up really liking it and i was like what <laughs> and so i thought it was really it was just a fluke you know and so the next series that she'd come out with um crescent city i had no desire to read i thought it was an urban fantasy but then my friend asked me if i knew anything about it and then we just started buddy reading it together so quite surprisingly to me i was quite shocked that i ended up really liking it and i was like what I really thought that I would hate that book, like I really thought, but I, I liked it. I've heard a lot of people say that it's like a boring book and it's hard to like get through and it's like dragging your feet. Um, the thing is, at certain times, and I think it was perfect timing, that I really enjoy boring books or slow books. I just really love books that have just like a mundane feeling to it, where it feels like very routine. I love that. It just feels so comfortable. And especially if I'm listening to it on audiobook, then I could just listen and be with these characters and be in this world. It was kind of freaking intense at point. So that was fun. But honestly, I was just quite shocked that I liked it. So, wow. And then I could have just lived my life and not read the next book. But um, my friend, because I buddy read it with her, my friend is Jenna. I'll probably be referring to her more in this video. So it's Jenna, who I did the buddy read with. Um, we had a great time. We mostly just like, because we'd never really done a buddy read before, we'd mostly just been like racing each other to see who would like, who's ahead? Who's ahead? Who has more time to listen today? But she wanted to read the next book. So I think that like, I could have, I would have put it off reading the next book if it wasn't for her. So I've just been really excited for the next book to come out and it feels great to be hype about it. That is what I'm going to go and pick up from the bookstore today. It's just fun to be excited about something because there are literally no K-pop albums coming out right now that I'm interested in because I'm literally only interested in NCT nowadays. EXO, please come back. At least we know it's only two years until EXO. I'm fine. It's fine. Suho's back. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just excited to have something to be excited about and to get this new book. And I really don't want to be like one of those really intense Sarah J. Mass um, fans. A lot of people in that fandom take it too far. And they're just too intense. And I'm just like, so, yeah. And as you know, I'm an Aquarius, so liking something that's popular really irks me. So if I'm talking about it, you know that I actually like it look i can't i just can't <sighs> avocado other thing that i'm really excited for this week on thursday new sims game pack comes out so i'm very much looking forward to that and so it's gonna be a good week two things in one week wow this is the eyeliner that i use all the other stuff could care less uh but this great stuff and it's cheaper so out of all the liquid brush tip eyeliners, I only use brush tip eyeliners, nothing else. So anyways, that's mostly what I'm going to be reading this week. I, I'm i mostly going to be reading that this week. Um, watch me finish it by tomorrow or something. And then I also have schoolwork to, uh, tomorrow, Wednesday. I have workshopping my thesis paper. Again, I'll be talking about my thesis I'll share a little bit about what it's about later on. And then for Thursday, I have a very complicated reading that we had two weeks to do, but she didn't have the reading available for a whole week. Uh, now I have to read it. I need to go print it out. 
looking forward to a good week. I hope you guys have a good week. I hope you guys have a good time watching this video. Ha! <laughs> See you later.
Okay, so today was quite a day, you know? Let's just not. I have been enjoying my book, even though I have a raging headache. Um, I love Very good, okay? I got this at Barnes & Noble because it was 50% off. I was like, well, wow, what a deal. I was going to wait for the paperback to come out to get it physically, but I'm on the wait list for the library copy of the audiobook, so I want the physical book when I get the, you know, look, it was 50% off, okay? Also, the first book to this is red. Okay, first book, red, second book, blue. First book, red, second book, blue. What is going on here? I would like to know. What is bothering me a little bit is that this, both of these books are the same exact size. There's like a page difference of like seven. The audiobooks have a time difference of two minutes. These are like Bible thin and it's like heavier than this but it's bothering me <laughs> it's really bothering me i've just gotten hung up on it all of a sudden anyways great stuff i'm at chapter i just turned new chapter 26 wow using my bookmark that i have in my shop dark academia it's number one i'm listening to the audiobook while i'm reading along physically and then in times when i like want to journal because i was journaling this evening um i'll just listen to the audiobook but um the narrator great narrator but for one of the characters, I'm, this is no spoiler or anything because this is the second book in a series, but I will give my thoughts at the end. The narrator is doing a Scottish accent for one of the new characters in this book, and then the character will have like a lot of dialogue and a whole monologue, and she will lose the accent in the middle of the freaking sentence and then just not pick it up again until the beginning of the next sentence. I feel like she dug herself a pit and didn't know how to get out of it. Hilarious. Yeah, and just so far I'm really enjoying it, not even halfway, but Jenna has barely gotten to read it today because she's busy and she's presently at a concert, which I love that for her, but I'm trying to read it as fast as I can because I know tomorrow she's gonna go barreling through it and she'll be like done by tomorrow evening and I'm gonna be like, wait for me. But yeah. Anyways, fun buddy read times. Very excited for tomorrow. Because that she'll get to see all the things. So I'm going to read as much as I can. Because also tomorrow I have class for three hours. And then I also have a reading to do for Thursday's class. Which I might just put off till Thursday. But we'll see. And I was looking at some new book releases. Because um, today was a big publishing day. And a bunch of books that I was interested in came out today. And I saw them all in store. And I was like... I have to get it. I think what I'm going to read after this will probably be, be The Bone Shard Emperor and then I'll read that Enchanted River uh, story. It just sounded good. It sounded like a solid thing to just like listen to an audiobook. So I'll probably spend a credit on that and then I'll probably try and get into a high fantasy story by the end of the month. Mm. Actually, it's already the 15th. Whatever. I'm excited. Gonna continue reading until I fall asleep because I'm really tired because I woke up really early today.
it's Wednesday, still listening to my book. I think I'm around halfway. Um, I've been like switching between reading physically and listening on audiobook. Uh, I just, I love living in the world. Like it's just so nice to be there for me. That's, I think the part that I love most about it. Um, second book, pretty good so far. The thing I am very weary about is Sarah J Mass and like, cause she's so popular. I feel like she can very easily be drawn into pandering to the audience and I don't want that. <laughs> no thanks. Um, because she'd be pandering to the fandom, which is, please don't do that. A Court of Frost and Starlight. I recently read that. I didn't read it before I read A Court of Silver Flames. This is in the Akatar series, not this series. That was ass. I thought I gave it two stars because it was just a complete, the whole entire book, every single sentence on the page. I'm joking, but am I? Oh my God. I was literally just thinking about Jenna and I'm giving you guys an update and she's asking what chapter I'm on. Um, but that whole entire thing just felt like it was pandering. It was fan service and it was just not good. And I was, no. So I'm glad that I didn't read that before I read A Court of Silver Flames because I think that would have dimmed my experience a little bit. But, um don't read that spare yourself but anyways with crescent city the second book very much enjoying it we just keep calling it crescent city because the first book like the main thing was crescent city house of blood and earth is blood and earth the first book i don't know the title was so small so we just kept calling it crescent city and on this book we can't call it by whatever the heck it's called because it's just crescent city both of them all of them will forever be crescent city anyways kind of just continue listening. Maybe I'll do this tomorrow. Watch me not do- No, I need to do it today. But I don't want to. Why? This is too much. This is 24 pages. I'm not a fast reader. Why have I dug myself this hole? I'm gonna read Crescent City instead. left of the audiobook well past halfway and um jenna mentioned something about how like oh there'll probably be a cliffhanger at the end of the book and i was like why would you say that because we're at the same spot right now like exactly the same spot so i looked at the last page This is Jenna's fault. I blame her for putting it in my head because, you know, when this is in my head, I have to know. I think I'm gonna try and finish this tonight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, five hours. Literally gonna die. Literally. This is something that I theorized about with Jenna and we talked about it at length. So now it is just even. Uh, 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 Okay, here it goes, then. <laughs> I hate you. I'm scared. All right. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? Yep. Go. talk about this at length? It fit very much length. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, over an hour. <laughs> we okay. said that this was a series about it. That it was gonna do it. <laughs> yep. You should have- I can't believe you went- Look at that! <laughs> 
You should have heard my gasp. We literally joke. A lot of the things that happened in this book, we literally joked about, and then it happened. We we joked about it happened, but like we're also not mad. <laughs> <laughs> I Yeah, so it's the next day after I finished this. I don't know how to process this, essentially. This was good, okay? Quite good. I think I probably read it too fast, but I needed to know what was happening, what was gonna happen. Um, I just needed to know, like, so many things happen in this book, but I feel like all I can process right now in my head is what happens in the end of the book. So, yeah, great book. Um, Sarah JMS, I used to hate you so much, but now look what you've done to me. You've left me a speechless mess, which is not very hard to do because I'm not very good at English, but like, even worse. What is, what is this, Sarah Jemess, I would like to ask. When is the next one? I know you're gonna make us wait for a long time. The point from which I sit right now is quite bleak. When is the next one? A long time. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> Again, I'd like to reiterate. I think a lot of people think that these books are like slower and just boring. Jen and I were talking about how this book feels on par to the first book, like whereas in A Court of Thorns and Roses series, A Court of Mist and Fury is definitely better than A, Qu a Court of Wings and Roses. So this one, they seem like on par. They're good. <laughs> also very much appreciate how this series feels way more like adult fantasy books. And now I can definitely see the contrast that Akatar is a new adult book and I read a lot of adult fantasy just regular fantasy then um, So it just feels a lot more developed There's a lot more going on Intricacies and so they take a longer time to flesh out which I very much appreciate and I just like I said I just love to live in this world with these characters and So then it just makes this even worse and I, why okay I don't my former auntie self like cannot handle a gush about how 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 did how did she write this how did she make me love these characters so quickly but like it's just a reality um i need to pro i need to reread this i need to process it again um five out of five stars <laughs> thanks so much to jenna for buddy reading this with me and you're welcome
to her for buddy meeting with her because <laughs> this is her fault <laughs> this is her fault i literally don't know what to say i woke up thinking about this freaking book in what world did i ever think that i'd be doing that i don't know um perhaps i read it too fast but at the same time the end is where it's at bye